and welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for the return of Zillion Echo. We just played this deck a couple of weeks ago. We went 5-0 with it. It did really well. Um, I know y'all on YouTube really liked the deck also. And so let's bring it back. That's kind of what we're doing today. We got like a, a rank up day where we're uh, playing. We just played Twisted Gangplank. Now we're playing Zillion Echo, a couple of decks that we've done well with in the past. We are making the one change that we talked about at the end of the video uh, last time. There was uh, a three mana card in here whose name is Station Archivist. There's two copies of Station Archivist in the deck, and I didn't really like the Station Archivist. I didn't really feel like we need it. Like the best case scenario is you can Station Archivist like a Chrono Break in the really late game, but I didn't love it too much. I wanted another Practical Perfectionist. There's only two. And so we're replacing that because I want to be able to drop Perfectionist on three quite a bit uh, to help my predicts because we really want leveled up Echo, right? Like Echo is going to be like the strength of, or like going to be like a main way that we're finishing out games with Echo and Chrono Break. And whenever you play Echo, you really, really want Echo to be leveled up. And so got to getting the third Perfectionist in here and then playing one copy of Aftershock uh, to just give us another burn spell because we do turn into a burn deck in the late game also, like, you know, like with Zillion Time Bombs and... Uh, Hexite Crystals and Mystic Shots, we can turn into a burn deck for those last points of damage. So one Aftershock to uh, help that out, but then also like against like Thralls or Bandal Tree, you just have like one thing to destroy a landmark. So let's get to it. Um, you know, let's let's do lots of predicting, play lots of cards. Uh, that's what it's all about. Make lots of decisions. It's Zillion Echo. Here we go. For Katarina decks, Katarina is also traditionally played with like LeBlanc, Ash, like Frostbite decks. Usually, will have like they can have like a Katarina in there. Um, that's another spot that you could play. Katarina. I think let's send back these Preservariums and Quicksand. What's up, True Titan? Hello, hello. Do I want round two Preservarium against a Twisted Fate deck? Uh, I don't know. Maybe we keep one. I could... I can certainly see sending it back, Jack. Hey, that's what I was going to do. So their Hexite... Their Fallen Feline is Prismatic. So that means they're going to find their Hexite Crystal before me. Ooh. I guess so. Definitely gonna get that other one in before we predict. Happy to do whatever's needed. Oh, I have I have the prismatics disabled right now. That could be a reason why I didn't. Mine's not prismatic. Oh, I do have this deck full prismat. I do actually have this deck full prismatic. Oh, I do. I forgot. Yes. We, all right. Help remind. We need to turn prismatics back on after this for sure. Another fallen feline. All right. We'll take that. Now, when am I? No one knows. I forgot. I was so I was close to having this deck uh, all prismatic before, and then we we just went ahead and made the rest of the deck prismatic, so we could have a fully prismatic deck. That's so sad. I can't believe that I don't have the Prismatics on for this game. But we'll have them on for next game. Ooh, a Mirai Great Mother deck. So they play concurrent timelines? Alright, alright. Experience grants wisdom and strength. I guess time trick. So we're both just kind of setting up. I don't mind drawing Hexite Crystal, but I'd rather just get Hexite Crystal for free, of course. And Loof Travelers is nice. That card is good. I'm looking for Echo. I 
take a time bomb. And it's not perfect, but look. If your prediction is correct, we have much to look forward to. I think we take five points of damage. I'm not too worried about my Nexus total against this deck. At least not yet. So we're drawing two cards for the round. Like, you know, one for our normal card, one from the Preservarium. And then, yes, there's Echo. I don't know, but then the Echo's gonna die. I'm gonna leave it for long. Ugh! Worst card in the deck to draw. I kind of just don't even want to play drop borders in this deck. I have to wait two rounds if I want to be able to play Echo and have Chrono Shift protect Echo. Alright, so there goes Zillion. Alright, I guess might as well get the Chrono Breaks in the deck. So, whenever we predict, we could find them, and like the 4 2 that predicts and makes more cards, we could find them. That's what I was worried about. So I'm doing the Hexite Crystal so that uh, the Time Bomb just kills these things. Let's just get rid of everything right now. Oh man, another drop order? I guess I should have Scrying Sands. Gross. Drop order is definitely my least favorite card in this deck. I'm always up for a round or two. Soak it in. Guess we're gonna make more time tricks. I think I like time trick more than Preservarium. Yeah. So that's their second unit. Their second ally. I guess I'm just gonna play this now before they play another one and then get to draw a card and refill their spell mana. They could still have a Mariah Great Mother spell. They have three mana, so they could have like some sweet Mariah Great Mother spell. These drop orders are bleh. Hmm. I I kind of expected them to block the four two. Yeah, that's that was the block I was expecting. We're going to be able to time bomb me and chrono break this round. Oh no! Dude, these aloof travelers are killing me. So there goes my chrono break. You dropped something. I dropped everything. Wow. They've hit, they've had some really good hits. Now insightful investigator. We play and build rules. So they've had some really good hits. Time waits for no one. No one but me. So that's their third aloof travelers. All three have turned into some pretty good units. They got lots and lots of cards over there. Lots of cards, lots of mana. I'm kinda out of stuff over here. Spent two rounds drawing just Regular old drop order. Never it was useless. One. Something for all of you. Hey Kay, wanna make me a few extra boards? Yes! 
So that first card they drew was because of this insight, Insightful Investigators. They uh, draw one fleeting for casting a two-cost spell. So that card's a fleeting card. But it just you know, helps the Twist of Fate level up. It also helps that card. Wow. That's a great blocker. I want to take five. Just get more chrono breaks, I guess. I still have any card draw, but you know, we have zillions. I think they'll have a deny, but I sure hope I sure hope not. The waters nurture them awry. Okay. Generic four five. Seem worth it. <laughs> yeah, Pantheon. Yeah, Pantheon does look really awesome, doesn't it? All right, so that's their third Great Mother, and they've had three aloof travelers and two Twisted Fates. Experience grants wisdom and strength. So they're doing exactly what they want their deck to do. What they what they hope their deck to do. Really hope they don't have like a thermogenic beam that kills my zillion after this. Ice Quake. All right, so I still have zillion. Nothing else is alive. <laughs> they did have the thermogenic beam. All right, so this is looking terrible, right? Because we have nothing. They have four cards. And I have a whole bunch of Chrono Breaks in the deck that don't matter. Gosh. Yeah, this is... All right. Looks like they got us. GG's. Triple Aloof Travelers really hurts. And then, obviously, all these Mirai Great Mothers. I should have taken... Uh, I think there was, like, a time that I took a Chrono Break and I could have taken... Or, I, let's see, I guess I took a time trick and I could have taken um, a draw to him. Yeah. Alright, oh, and one. Okay, so the exact same deck, exact same matchup. Uh, I have more, you know, I definitely have more information now about, like, what their deck is like. Um, so we're going to, uh, you know, want to keep extra card advantage for sure.
Well, I liked the three cards that we kept, but Quicksand and Scrying Sands are the two worst cards in our deck for this matchup. They don't matter. That's a good card. All right, so we're hoping that this is going to be a four mana card. You know, Aloof Travelers, uh, Mirai Great Mother, Twisted Fate, Daps Brafin. We saw a lot of four mana cards over there. Hoping that's one of them. I'll take Xenotype. I don't take Xenotype. Oh, it was a Pool Shark. So I, they are pretty fortunate there finding a card they could play immediately. Alright, now hopefully that fleeting card is going to be a 4 mana card. I have a million 4 mana cards. That's new. You're provoking it. Carefully, researchers. There's no rush. No, it was time trick. Wow. We will round one and round two pool sharks and not punished at all. Just rewarded. That's new. You're provoking it. Carefully, researchers. There is no rush. The waters nurture the Marai. <laughs> and their deck looks great. They can just keep doing stuff like this all the time. Really hoping it hits this quicksand. You dropped something. I dropped everything. No, come on, really? The perfectionist? Uh, come on. Man, this is brutal, because yeah, this Justice Rider is awesome against us too, isn't it? Yeah, this is brutal. Have to kill that thing. Wrong turn. So through the two, two games so far, our opponent's deck has looked amazing. Else? <laughs> yep, we got paired against the same opponent. Discard. So did the other one discard an urchin also? So like that's so that's three urchins, I think. I gotta take drop order out of here. Oh there goes Echo. Man, a loof. They've had five aloof travelers, and every single one has just been devastating. And then they always turn into like something else that's like really good. Look, I've made a breakthrough. All right, show us what you can do. Don't touch 
wanted. So I didn't. I just randomly put a card on top. Yeah, we didn't. We didn't choose anything from that. So let's just go ahead and time check. So we got a drop order out of the deck. So that's good. They're worried about another time bomb. I would assume. That Perfectionist is pretty big, but it's not card advantage, but it does, I guess, it does help my next draw step. And it's not perfect, but look. If your prediction is correct, we have much to look forward to. I'm always up for a round or two. <laughs> Something for all of you. And be undone. I don't really know what else I'm doing with that. Uh, you know, with that quicksand. Might as well play it. Keep up, keep up. Better dead than topside. Night Owl! Tier 1 sub again. 60 months now. Thank you so much, Night Owl. Thanks for that resub. You are amazing. Thanks for keeping that support coming. Alright, so we got our 10 8. I just have so many cards over there. That's such better card advantage. And... So they have a spell that does like. Two damage to all my stuff again. I have that deal one, then deal one again. Or just Hexite Crystal. I think I'm just going to play New Zillion, because this New Zillion's a 4 6. I guess that one would heal and give plus 3 plus 3. A 4 7, I mean. Echo is what I want. Wanna make me a few extra boards? Yes. So I guess we're not playing I mean, sure. Zillion yet. Mm -hmm. I don't I don't think there's any visual bug. Bad at finding time bombs. Certainly hoping no removal for this echo. Really hoping no removal, really hoping our echo can strike and get that uh, time trick because we need it. We are out of cards. We need that time trick. So that 2-3 they played that, like... Oh, man. The 2-3 they played that does one one self-damage, I guess whenever they turn it into Kelp Maidens, it doesn't, you know, didn't take that damage.
the Archivist for the card advantage. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's a, a thing, I suppose. I can see Archivist over Drop Order. I can see a lot of things over Drop Order. Yeah, Archivist only gets spells, and so it can definitely miss. There's not very many spells for it to hit. It's um, it's kind of risky. Yep, that's what we're, we're going for. You know, if we hit Chrono Break, it's game. If we don't hit Chrono Break, this could be a little rough. Going for Chrono Break. No chrono break there. I don't. I don't think I take quicksand. I think I just pass and hit chrono break. Yuck. What do you make of that? I'm not sure. No, quicksand does not get rid of unyielding. It, it only gets rid of keywords, and the unyielding spirit is not a keyword. So it allowed me to block the Shelly. That's it. Go with the flow. Oh, there's Sprayfin just hit Sprayfin? Oh, okay. Oh, it just hit another elusive. Alright. Now Chrono Break? Chrono Break or Time Bomb? You know, I'm drawing this round. Time Bomb allows me to just draw another card and do another point of damage. I think just time bomb. I think I just keep taking time bombs, I think. Well, I'm glad I took the time bomb. So save a point of damage there from the saboteur. Those things don't do any damage to me. Finding the time bombs. Wow. So remember, we have we have practical perfectionists making more copies of time bombs, and we've played a couple zillions. We we did have a lot of time bombs in the deck, as you can tell. And then that last time bomb does the one point of damage. So we just had five time bombs that round. Our ten mana. That's five damage. GG's. <laughs> Time bomb burn. Okay, we're going to try something new for the next uh, three games. We're going to be taking out those drop orders that I don't like very much. And we're going to be putting in the new all-star that's one of the best cards in Piltover and Zon with Pharaoh's Financier. Still gives us an early body to play, and it can also give us um, access to some awesome six-plus cost cards for the late game that we could just suddenly have you know, with some other uh, super powerful cards like True Shop Barrage. You know, Spirits fire pretty good, but then also, you know, maybe get some Glorious Evolutions because those are so good with, um, like, leveled up Zillion and stuff like that. So let's play some Pharaohs, or some Pharaohs Financiers. This card is incredible, and it's going to be in our deck. All right, playing versus Lurkers. Let's see how we do. Hey, Pharaoh's Financiers, you look a lot better than 
Uh, and what drop order would lurk? Uh, so this is no one drop. A Chronomancer on two, Financier on three. The quicksand is pretty important against lurkers because of the overwhelm in the late game. I took out drop order. Man, this is tough. Boomerang Blade, Assembly Line, those are both great. You know, Boomerang Blade on Echo just sounds ridiculous, right, in the, the late game. Assembly Line can get us multiple blockers. We kind of already have blockers. Let's take this Boomerang Blade. Awesome I think that's the card they lurked last time. Just making sure they get a lurker. No, okay, never mind, so that was Rek'Sai. What do you make of that? I'm not sure. I like Fallen Feline and I like Quicksand. I like both of those. I think I want Fallen Feline. Get a Hexite Crystal. Look, I've made a breakthrough. All right. Show the problem here, of course, being... I kind of want to keep that on top, so I don't really want to play another unit right now. But we kind of need to play another unit. Save three spell mana. Yeah, there's no... Yeah, that's true. Nobody's going to be playing around Blossoming Blade. They could have the two-mana card. That, you know, that fights. Alright, so we know... We know one card's Rek'Sai. in their hand. They should also have... Um, I can't... I can't play this Chronomancer anymore. So I guess I play that. They should also... Like, they, they play the one card that, that creates multiple Lurkers, so they should have, like, more of those also. Where are you at? You're at 2 out of 4. I'll take a thermo beam. I'm not scared. I'm not scared. I'll take a thermo beam. Call the pack. That's the thing. So that that's is that their first call the pack card? Scrying sands is a good draw. So they should still have a Rek'Sai and another Call the Pack card. I don't want to meet whatever woke you up. Yeah, put in Pharaoh's Financier. Man, this is a tough choice. I like all these. Oh, this is the one that puts more copies in? Oh, I should have probably just skipped. I don't really need more copies in any of these. That's not bad. We had this set up pretty well. This is kind of about the only thing that I'm can lose to is like this double pike. Like this. Alright, so we can kill the first pike. Second pike's gonna kind of get me a little bit.
So I have a thermo beam on top. It takes away that card against the Rek'Sai, though, for later. Time is winding, like a watch. Man. Did I freeze time again? Oh dear. So you know that card on top was a Lurker. And they have a Rek'Sai and a Lurk card. Do they still have that other call to pack card? the other call the pack lurker oh man mystic shot to stop pike or quicksand to stop Rek'Sai. So they've lurked... What, Pike? Okay, so Pike's usually three power, so they've lurked five times. And that, that's what it says over there, just making sure. So Rek'Sai... <sighs> Alright, so Rek'Sai's usually three power, so plus five would be eight. So I think the Scrying Sand should be able to stop Rek'Sai, I think. But the thing is, is... Okay, because we're going to have nine mana next round... I kind of want to take this quicksand, but... I wish I had the mana to do all these. Next round. I kind of want to keep this boomerang blade. Available, too. Alright, you? Alright, so if we go there... This is risky. Alright, so 8 Overwhelm. Block with 3 means we take 5. Okay, I'm just worried about like that 2 mana card that then they fight, and so I need to have, like, have Mystic Shot oh, to kind of protect against that. Okay. Um... I guess we look for. I don't know, that's all. That doesn't help. I guess we want Thermo Beam, because Thermo costs one mana. Fallen Feline costs one mana. I guess that's better than a lot of things. Okay. So we're gonna have to. Scrying Sands. Overwhelm, here some overwhelm spell shield this round. We're gonna have to scrying scene to you. Take time bomb. I guess it doesn't matter what I choose there because we're gonna be time tricking again because our, our echo's gonna die. So we're down to three. Xenotype to play. We could do worse than Xenotype. Ugh, that's definitely worse than Xenotype. I just want a body. that covered.
Man, I just can't get a body. I should have taken the Xenotype. Gently, gently. <laughs> Alright, a body. Good body, too. You know, with the time bombs. Alright, so now if they draw big overwhelm, we in trouble. So big overwhelm this round is how I lose. Good, that's not big overwhelm this round. Good card. Pretty risky relying on Chrono Break. And Zillion's about to level up though. I guess I'm gonna keep Zillion alive. We'll see if we get Chrono Break. Possible. It's possible. All right, we know their top card is a Lurker. that aftershock so we should be able to just open attack do eight that does the ninth point I guess I guess this is just lethal even without the aftershock I forgot this is the one extra point from the zillion so yeah this is just nine and we know that top card's a lurker so I don't think it's any fast speed lurker let's go interact here got him All right, we are two and one. GG's. Right. The after party? There's the event that the event is, you know ends on Wednesday, but that doesn't. That's not going to remove the Path of Champions. The Path of Champions single player stuff will be sticking around. What are we playing against? Oh yeah, playing against Darkness. All right, maybe I want a time trick against Darkness. See, like, this kind of matchup. Like, we could have, like, a drop order, which is useless against Darkness in our deck. Or we could have Pharaoh's Financier, which is, like, an all-star. So, useless card, all-star. Useless card, all-star. I think this Financier is going to be a big upgrade. Only I can command darkness. Only I. Yeah. I guess only you. I don't want this Thermo Beam to have against the champions, especially Vagar, right? Like, Vagar is a card that we really want to be able to kill immediately, and Thermo Beam can do that. Focus using multiple lenses. Clever. Another Catalyzer? Man, they're living the life. Double Catalyzer. It's just the best thing you can have in. Uh, in darkness control is catalyzer. Don't touch it. So now all their darkness does four, and that's obviously just a much, much bigger deal than having their darkness. Uh, yeah, it's even better now. Yeah, so looking bad, looking real bad. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. Astounding curiosity, Yeah, Jan, do you like the, the new YouTube videos with the higher resolution at 1440p? Um, I just kind of started realizing that I could do that. That I could, you know, I started recording in, in uh, 1440p. And... All right, not a champion. I guess I, you're not even... Oh, you're not leveled up yet, though. 
Eh. I don't have that one extra mana for the predict, so that's kind of useless what I'm doing right here. I just wasted this echo, didn't I? Sure, it looks like I did. Okay, you, you like it a lot? Cool. It takes it takes longer to for me to not only upload the videos to YouTube, but then also render them, right? So like it, it takes longer with that, but I, I thought that y'all would probably, probably really like it. But it's something I hadn't really considered doing. Yeah, I really wasted that echo. No fast speed of removal for me, you know, Mystic Shot or Hexite Crystal. I'll take a Preservarium. If we can undo what has been done, we can, Timekeeper. Let me show you. So I could take more zillions, but a one, a two, a three. I will shape death as easily as clay. Life is cyclical, darkness ends. Just wait. So we're gonna try to find Chrono Break, of course. No reason to just sacrifice a bunch of stuff. Of course, I was thinking that we need like a kind of a clear board for this this stuff. That's a good question. Uh, what do I think is the most fun deck to play right now? Yeah, more of those? That's a good question. I always like playing Braum decks. I really like Braum's my favorite. I like playing Braum. I like playing Braum with um like Howling Abyss. Howling Abyss is also a favorite of mine. I guess so they use the turn that into a 1 6 again. Yeah. Awesome. So we got to get rid of that. They didn't get to have Darkness do any more damage. And have that Time Bomb on top. You like Talia Ziggs or Echo for you? There you go, yeah. There's a lot of really good stuff, like really fun stuff to play. I also like Glorious Evolution a lot. That's what we're going to play up next. I like Victor plus Glorious Evolution. I feel like Victor plus Glorious Evolution is pretty fun. So, of course, they knew about that card. Definitely considering using a Thermo Beam on the Lifesteal unit just so we could get a better attack in, but... We probably shouldn't do that. I should probably keep my Thermo Beam. Alright, gonna make a Parallel Convergence. I don't know, should we keep it to kill a champion? We should probably keep it to kill a champion. Saving Thermo for the champions, right? The champions are... ...pretty messed up. What's up, Parallel Convergence? I was just talking about how it... ...about you. So we get, these are summon effects. So we get two Xenotype Researcher effects again in there. And we don't have like that many units left in the deck. Wow, and they just took it all. They just said GG's. GG's, they said. All right, that's three and one for Zillion Echo. And 
And we have Jace Heimer for our last one. So lots and lots of control decks that we face in these games. So we got a long video here with all the control decks. Again, Thermo kills Heimer, so maybe I should keep it. Uh, no, I, I didn't really use this deck to get to Diamond. No, I just kind of play everything, right? Like, we just play, like, usually play all, like, viewer-submitted decks. So this is the second time that I've played this deck this uh, season. We played it one other time. Oh, y'all... Oh, no, y'all forgot to remind me to change... Oh, man, I have this whole deck prismatic out, and, like, this all these games, I didn't use the prismatics a single time. I feel, feel terrible about that right now. Y'all forgot to tell me to change it, and I forgot to change it. Man, I have this whole deck prismatic out, and we didn't use that at all. Oh man, I feel terrible about that. Focus using multiple lenses. Clever. I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. Yeah, yeah. Man, I want to take the zillion, but I also want to take the five six. Also, like preservarium, because we need, we just need cards also. I know, I totally forgot. See, the thing about Prismatics is they look really good when your, like, entire deck is Prismatic, right? So, like, all of them are Prismatic. Uh, it's... I don't like the look also whenever you have, like, this one's Prismatic, then then no, then Prismatic, then no, right? And they're just kind of all mixed together and stuff. See what I've learned? I just improvised on the instructions you drafted. I wish we were playing Ride of Negation right about now. So they're probably going to do like three damage to two different things. That'd be really cool to Ride of Negation that. Maybe I need to be taking these thermogenic beams, but yeah, it's a seven five is pretty big, and that's a seven five. Not too mad at that. I don't know. I could go with the Chronomancer, a five-six Chronomancer. Eh. You can always rely on you to keep us safe. So I want Echo to be leveled up, so that whenever we play Echo, you know, like we're getting the Chrono Breaks in in the deck, and then I want to play this Perfectionist to maybe create more Chrono Breaks, potentially. I'm gonna take another zillion. Which can put in more time bombs for us. So obviously this zillion's going to die. Kinda wish I had one more mana that could play the Echo and be able to have Chrono Shift protect Echo. to nine. That's kind of the, the danger zone. Let's 
And the danger zone again burned out. But they've already played two of the six mana um, deal threes. I just don't really want them to play, you know, like, I play Fallen Feline, they play the six mana, put two three threes into play, and then it gets doubles, they put four three threes into play, so they just have, like, lots of good blockers. I want to just open attack first. I should fall on feline first. But I was kind of thinking that I could play like triple time bomb. Okay, we're trying to break. So Chrono Break's gonna cost. Hey, hey, Ray Ray. Had the third one. Firing. See, that's what I'm worried about is them burning me out like that. Wait. Yeah, it's pretty scary. Alright, so Jace will die to the time bomb, which does mean um, that they won't have Jace's champion spell anymore. Which is good. I'm just looking for burn. So they've already played all three of those six mana deal threes. All right, now we'll do. So we had Chrono Break also, but we'll just go ahead and finish it out with the Mystic Shot. So that's how our deck can just turn into a burn deck towards the end. Kind of like they did. They, uh, you know, scared me there with all the all that direct damage burn. Yeah, okay. So right now, yeah, for the donation goal, um, you know, basically right now I, I have all the all the cosmetics right now. You know, but I don't have any, I don't, you know, I used all the rest of my coins on the last cosmetics. So basically, whenever, whenever I hit the donation goal and we get to $100 for the donation goal, then I'm going to, you know, go back to the store, put $100 worth of coins in here so that whenever they release the new cosmetics that come out next, you know, we'll be able to buy them. Um, and so that's kind of what I do is I basically like refill the, refill the coins, you know, um, basically when I'm, when I'm empty with coins, then we do the donation goal try to get to 100 so then I because you know just the 100 is the like where you get the most coins per purchase uh whenever you know whenever you buy the coins and stuff so we hit the goal we refill then can buy all the new cosmetics that come out that you know there's there's definitely gonna be new cosmetics because they bring out a lot <laughs> even those of y'all watching later on youtube there is a donation link in the video description so if you would like to help out towards our donation goal if you're enjoying the videos maybe you like the 1440p um you know feel free to donate I'd, I'd really appreciate it and if you donate ten dollars or more 
you can request a deck. You know, so you, if you have your own deck you want me to play, or if there's a deck you want me to build, anything like that, $10 or more donations, you get your own donation deck. All right, so that's going to be it for Zillion Echo. Another good showing, another four and one. We played against a lot of slower decks, and you know, we we had a good amount of card advantage and stuff. It, it started off a little um, a little bad, right? Like we lost our first one. We were drawing our drop orders that were terrible, uh, and so uh, then we almost lost the second one also. Again, drawing a drop order, but we put in Pharaoh's Financier that helped us, and our last ones we came up with all wins. Um, after that, so four and one, four and one's a good record. Uh, I like the financier. I think I would keep that in here. The only way the drop order is better is specifically against aggro, um, and even then, it's like only really if you find it in a prediction for free against an aggro deck, right? So you, you have to a be playing against aggro and then b find it for free in the prediction. All other times, your financier is going to be better, and especially drawing financier. Um, or round one, you know, or against aggro specifically, like where you get to play at round one, right? So like those are the only times that it's better. So I, I think just over the long haul and over just like your your variety of games, uh, playing financier will work out more. All right, so that's going to be it for Zillion Echo. Uh, those y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button, leave those comments, let me know how y'all uh, like the deck, how you like the 1440p, how uh, you know. How's this deck working out for you? Anything like that? What do you want to see on stream? What are you excited about with the new champs? You know, leave those comments. All right, but that's going to be it for Zillion Echo. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.